Today I'm gonna to be taking an ovulation test. I'm gonna go ahead and check the ovulation test now. Wow, that is a shocker. It is extremely negative. I don't, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Wow, can you see that? That is odd, that is so odd just because of the way I've been feeling. Like I, I kind of expected it to be like a blazing positive. So that is very weird. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna take an ovulation test tomorrow too and see if the line gets any darker. And now I'm like questioning myself and don't know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I, I do want to talk about this really fast. As you may have known, me and my husband are trying to conceive our baby number three. This would be our rainbow baby because unfortunately I've had two miscarriages in this trying to conceive journey. I took a pregnancy test last month and it had a very faint line on it but I did discover that that was an evaporation line or an indent line. It definitely was not a positive. I did have my period shortly after that so as you may have guessed I am not pregnant yet. One thing I wanted to do differently this month in our trying to conceive journey is take ovulation test. The reason why I'm taking an ovulation test today is because I want to know when I'm going to ovulate for this menstrual cycle. I am currently on day 12 of my cycle, so I would be expecting to ovulate within the next few days. However, this is the very first ovulation test I have taken this month. I also want to justify that by saying I have not had any cramping so far and I usually do have cramping around ovulation every single month. That's pretty severe so I'm pretty sure that I haven't ovulated this month. I do want to talk about this really fast. Last month I got my period on cycle day 25 which is becoming kind of normal for me because normally like all of my life since I've had my cycle I would have my period like on day 30 and then for a long time after we had COVID in 2020 for for several years I had my cycle about a week late so around cycle day 37 is when I would get my period. Now I'm having shorter cycles so now I'm starting to get my period on cycle day 25 and that has been going on honestly since I stopped taking the birth control because it's a long story but I did take birth control for a couple of months last year just to kind of deal with my miscarriage because I really didn't want to get pregnant at that time because I needed to heal from having a miscarriage because it was extremely emotional and devastating for me. I don't know if birth control had anything to do with my cycle being shorter now, but it is very weird and I would love to know y'all's opinion on this, why you would think uh, my cycle is getting shorter. I did just turn 31, so I don't know if in your 30s your cycle gets shorter. Um, but I would love to know your opinion and thank y'all so much for watching. I am going to continue sharing a trying to conceive journey on here. I love y'all so very much. I also have an Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook page. I will leave all the links down below. Have a beautiful day. You are amazing. You are one of a kind. God bless you. Bye.